Alright guys, this is going to be my second video on my car. So since last time I showed you guys at the end of the video, I'm just going to get my turbos on. Finally on. Can't really see them, you see the wastegate of one of them turbos. But yeah, since then I've done some other upgrades. Oil cooler, housing inside i got the sport cooler so it opens up at right when the car starts instead of opening at 230 degrees and i just got the billet cap too to match it because the guy i was selling it to i was like fuck it and the other day i got the bms cap too to match um what else did i do Oh yeah, I'd added the ECS tuning catch can. Found a deal online. Super glad I did that because I was having a boost leak from this connection right here. Because it wasn't didn't have a clamp and just wasn't in all the way. But um Yeah, that's pretty much everything I've done. But since I did the turbos, you can see I have two inch inlets. And then the issue I was having the other day was with my tensioner and belt, but I've got a new belt and tensioner, so we're good now. Um, what else have I done since last video? I've had to change my van of solenoids, which are down there where that one clip is. There's another one below it. I had to change my boost solenoids because I have the old ones. Um, what else did I change? I believe that's pretty much it so far. All right, so the next thing I think I need to do is get my engine clean because you can see all this coolants everywhere, even there. It's because when you were doing the oil cooler, you had to take this line off and coolant started, uh, coolant came out of there, so I lost a bunch of coolant. So when I went to add more from to here, I, um, when the car's in accessory mode, the fluid started traveling everywhere. So this has a jet and it started squirting everywhere. It's hella funny. But it's not a big deal. And I found out this thing. Dumbass washer fluid's broken too. So apparently, since the heat shielding is so low, it doesn't cover it enough so that the fluid starts boiling up since it's so hot right there and it just evaporates or something like that. I can't even remember what my homie was saying about that. Uh, some other upgrades I want to do in the coming weeks are going to be... I'm going to reroute this line to under the manifold. And then soon I want to get a new BOV, the adapter line, to make it thicker. And then the secret sauce is back here. Sheesh. Sheesh. Here's the fitting I was talking about. So, and also I got in here. Three and a half bar sensor with the adapter. It's everything you need for port injection. Run fully 85. It's gonna be from the fun start. Oh yeah, and one thing I want to say about my build is almost everything came from eBay, offer up. Rarely would I ever buy anything new. All these parts I just got. Off here, all used. Never buy new. 
I always say that, never buy now. Always find it for half price, somewhere around there. Also, I wanted to show you guys my interior. Full aluminum. Checkered floor mats, fully custom by Phase 2 Motor Trend on Instagram. First ones to have it. So high toner. Also got the M Performance boot and shifter. Got the mats in the back too. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I didn't want to show you guys. This is like the driving position. Something a lot of people don't know is with these shifters, you can up and down shift on both sides. Most people don't know that. And it's really cool that this car has it, especially as it's an 07. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna put a few driving clips in, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get some more just driving videos because that's what I built this for is to drive it. Sensor doesn't read or something. I don't know. My mechanic was telling me something about it, but I don't really remember. This doesn't really matter. But washer fluid, which is fogged. And then these are my fog lights, which I took out. And then if you switch to LED lights, like anywhere in the car, it freaks out. Same with all these, and then this is my TPMS because I have none in my new wheels. Or at least I just didn't connect them. And I don't know, I don't really know how. This, I don't know what it is. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this part of the video. Just wanted to show you guys a few upgrades I did. And the new parts I got. Throw in a few more clips of me driving it, but yeah, it's still pretty slow at this power level. But once you get that E85, that'll fix everything, and I'll save me more money on gas. God damn.
big pop in.
true, that's true.